hello friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Kitia and I own a small jewelry business and in this channel I show you how I made the jewelry that I sell or I don't sell basically anything that I come across that I think that I would want to sell or if you send in any ideas in this channel i show you how i would make the things i also also get all the materials and everything and then i link them in the description box so you don't need to search because when i started doing jewelry you better believe me i spend a lot of money on things that i literally can't use right now because i was like oh i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get that and then when the things arrived i was like but this is not what works I will show you what I make, show you how to make it, and then I will give you all the details on the items that I use to make as well. So as you have seen in the thumbnail, today I'm going to be making a daisy bracelet, but this one's going to be different than the ones that I have been making all the time. So this one is actually a request from one of the subscribers. She asked me if I can make the daisies in the chain. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So the things that I'm going to be using, I will be using slightly different beads that I usually use. These ones have bigger ones. So these ones are Miyuki beads size 8 slash 0. And if you can see, the normal size ones that I usually work with are like this. And, and here's the ones that I will be working with today. So you can see the difference. In this video, you can actually work with the smaller beads as well. What I would do, as you can see, I have two different chains. I would just change the chain because obviously, if you have a chunkier daisy, like this one that I'm gonna be making, it would look better with a bit chunkier chain. And if you have smaller, it would look better with the smaller chain. So it's up to you. I'm just showing you the principle. So I got chain. These one, this one is the one that I'm gonna be using. And it's sterling silver chain. I will put the size in the description box. Then I have some sterling silver closures. I have four millimeter jump ring five millimeter jump ring and a lobster claw and then i have some smaller jump rings just to connect the daisy with the chain then i have three different pliers one is to cut the chain and two is just to open the jump rings and close them then i have fishing line this is the one that I always work with. I literally have had this roll for, I, I can't even tell you how long, probably like more than half a year and I can still go. So the size is 0 0.32 millimeter. And then I have a torch that I'm gonna use to just burn the fishing line on the back. That's a new trick I learned. If you have watched any videos before where I made like these daisies, I would just tie it. But I learned a new trick that if you burn it a little bit, it's not gonna untie. And then I have scissors and obviously a mat that I always use when I work with beads. So the first thing what we need to do is basically decide how many daisies we want to make. And that is, is literally up to you. Like how many do you want? Do you want one after another? Do you want like one daisy in the middle? Do you want two, three? Like it just, it honestly does not matter i think i'm gonna do a five yeah i think i'm gonna do five so i'm gonna show you how to make the daisies you can take a little bit of fishing line i will tell you how much yeah i take about 30 centimeters for each daisy so i have one already made so i'm gonna take four pieces and again like if you want to it's easier to work when it's longer but you don't want to be wasting your materials too much so I have the piece of fishing line and I'm just going to bead the um, daisies. So I'm going to start by taking five white beads because those ones will be the ones around and I'm just going to put them on the fishing line like so. And then I'm going to take this transparent, these are so pretty. I literally want to make everything from these beads right now. They're really, really nice. And then I'm going to take this transparent one and put both ends on the, of the fishing line through. 
and this is how it looks. And now I'm going to take these two ends and sort of like fold them over like this. And now you take one end of the fishing line and put through two beads on one side. You skip one bead in the middle and then put the other end of the fishing line through two beads on the other side. Like so. And then you take one more bead and put each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead. Like so. And now you just tie the fishing line. And I will try to like push it on the back. And this is how it looks now. And I'm just gonna cut the ends of the fishing line off. just by where the knot is and now I'm just gonna sort of like burn a little bit the fishing line tiny bit be very careful you can even take like the pliers and hold it like this and this is how it looks so I have done two days, well one I did before the video, just so I can show you. So I'm just going to make four more daisies, no, three more daisies. And then I will show you how to put them on the chain. And before I do that, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Your support, honestly. I keep saying it, but I probably won't stop saying it. It means the absolute world to me. And I just can't thank you enough. I do, I am planning a little surprise for you. So stay tuned. Coming in the next couple of weeks, I hope you're going to be excited. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you want, don't want to miss any videos in the future, click that notification button so you get notified when the new video is out um and also if you do have any ideas that you would want me to try and make and show you how i do it and find the um supplies and everything message me on instagram or you can leave it in the comment section and i promise i will make it work so yeah i'm just gonna make the daisies now and I will see you in a second. to mention you can also actually tie three times instead of two times just to make it more secure
made five daisies now. They look like this. So pretty. And now I just need to decide how how I'm gonna put not how but like how often on on the bracelet I want them. So I'm going to put, because I know my size, I usually make my bracelets to 16 centimeters. I'm just going to put the closures on. So the first one, I will take four millimeter jump ring and just put it on the end of the chain. And then I take a lobster claw and put it on the four millimeter jump ring too and just close it this is how it looks and now i'm just going to measure the 16 centimeters it's going to be here and then i'm just need to decide yeah you can see how often i'm going to put the daisies So this is how I'm going to put them. I'm putting it every three centimeters. So what I need to do now is just cut the piece here where I wanted to start. So I measured it. The first cut I'm going to make a two centimeters. Hope you can see by me. Maybe. That's a little bit better. So the first cut I'm going to do is at two centimeters and I just take the chain and I just cut this ring open and just take it off. And now I have this little piece and now I'm going to take these smaller jump rings and just open one I will put the chain on the little piece like so and now I'm gonna put the daisy where the bead is I'm just putting literally through the bead You might need to open the jump ring quite a bit because the bead is big as you can see and then you just put it through the bead like so it's a very tedious process because the jump ring is small but it's just going to look better when it's like small because if you put a bigger one it just doesn't look right I will show you how, what I mean. And then you just close the jump ring. Okay, so this is how it looks and I'm going to take where it closed. I'm just going to like turn it and put it in the bead. Okay, so this is how it looks now. See, if you use like little jump rings, you can't even tell much difference from the chain. And now I need to do exactly the same thing, but on the other side. So take the jump ring, take the daisy, no, take the chain, put the chain on, and then take the daisy and put the jump ring through the bead and that's the first daisy on actually I forgot to mention in the beginning this one is obviously made with the fishing line you can also do the daisies with the wire so if you want me to make video making the daisies with the wire <laughs> you know what to do let me know in the um, comment section but yeah, and this is how far we have got now. 
And now I just need to measure where I'm gonna put the next daisy, where I'm gonna cut the chain and put the next daisy. So because I like spread them out on here already, I know the next one I'm gonna cut is at five centimeters. So this is where we are now. And now I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm just gonna take the jump ring, put on the chain or the daisy, it doesn't matter which one do you, you do first. And now I'm just gonna put the daisy on. And close the jump ring. And do the same process again. Like so. It's coming together really, really nicely. I think it's gonna I have my race four bracelets. I honestly don't even know which one to wear because everything is pretty and I'm like, how am I supposed to choose which one to wear? But yeah, this one is really, really nice. And again, you can also make a necklace from this. So now I am gonna cut at eight centimeters. And I'm just gonna show you how it would look if we took bigger jump rings. Like this one, for example. Comparing into sizes to the one that we use now. I will try and use this one and just show you how it looks. Maybe you like that one better, the bigger one. So I do the same. Put the chain on and then I put the daisy. It is much, much easier to work with this bigger one. I will tell you that, but it depends like what F effect do you want. Let me do the other side as well, so it's more, more realistic. Okay, so this one is with the bigger jump rings. And then you have this, the other one, with smaller ones. Can you see the difference? Like in here, you can't even tell that it's the jump ring. It just looks like it's the chain, but here it like stands out a lot. But Again, that's like up to you, like if you want to, both are pretty and nobody's going to actually like stare at your bracelet, it's just going to see that you have a really, really cute bracelet on. And I'm sorry about the lightning, it's raining again, I am in the UK, so it's raining all the time. So yeah, I prefer this one, but any are nice, it's just easier to work with the bigger jump rings but i'm gonna take it off because i prefer with the smaller jump rings and i already started making it like that so so i'm just gonna finish the whole bracelet now and then show you the final result daisies on now and just gonna take off the last bit and pull the end of the bracelet on and here as well you can experiment like you can make a bigger chain just so you can you know change the sizes but I'm just making it just so it fits my wrist 
and I want to save the materials. Okay, I'm going to take some This is the final result. I hate this lightning, light, light outside. It's just so bad. But this is how it looks. Let me put it on the wrist. Okay. So this is the final result of the bracelet. Very cute. So cute, like everything I make I really like. I think that's one thing that you can do, you know, if you want to like a certain jewelry, you can just make it yourself because finding finding it somewhere else is just a waste of time. Just make it yourself because that's much better. And it has a special place in your heart because you made it yourself as well. So yeah, this is the final result. I will try and maybe get some better clips in a better light um, and just put them in. Hopefully I can get that done. But I don't know about you, but I really like this bracelet. So thank you to the person that suggested me to make this bracelet because it's gorgeous. And this is the closure here, aren't it? Pretty. If you have got this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. And yeah, if you enjoyed, again, subscribe, like, um, share with others. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.